Hello there, my brothers and sisters of the leaf. I'm Delicia Cigar Vixen, and today I'm gonna to take you back to some basics and go over how to cut a cigar. I've had several requests, so for those of you newbies or maybe just wanting to brush up on a different type of skill, um, I'm gonna go over the way that I like to cut my cigars, and I've brought out about four or five different types of cutters to talk about that method with you. So first of all, I'm gonna start with your typical guillotine. It's probably the most common, and for me, one of my favorites. Um, almost always use a guillotine unless I'm out and about and maybe borrowing somebody else's or happen to remember to bring some of these with me. Usually they're all at home, but that being said, there's a couple different types of guillotines. This one is a great one if you are new to smoking and maybe you're not sure about how much to take off. This one has a little stopper right in the back, so it's a safe way if you're just doing a straight cut, you can't take off too much, which is fabulous again for those of you who are either newer to smoking or just don't like to worry about it, it's, it's very easy to use. This other kind you'll see, um, same type of concept, double, double blade guillotine, and these are usually found at every cigar lounge, they're, they give them out, they're good samples, these are a nice one to just kind of throw in the car with you, throw in your cigar bag, just to have one with you. It's always nice to have your own cutter because most of the time after you cut, um, you do a little pre-lit draw, and if you're sharing cutters with people, chances are you have their saliva and uh, other gunk from the cigar resonating on the, the cutters themselves. So again, highly recommend getting um, a couple different cutters just to have with you. This one is one of my favorites. This is my little Calibri. Same type of cut. It's a guillotine double blade, but it's a little side one, so it's a little bit easier you know, to hold in your hand and make those cuts. So that being said, I'm gonna demonstrate to you how to do that. And I think I'll use this little guy here, this little Corona. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna look and locate the cap. Now, the cap is the last piece of tobacco that the rep, or the rollers, I'm sorry, place over the um, cigar when it's being made. Sometimes there's a single cap, double cap, triple. Sometimes there's a pigtail, um, different type of style. Sometimes you'll see a torpedo shape, but this is just a regular um, kind of rounded and what you're looking for is basically the shoulder part, which is where it starts to kind of go down. And you just want to go right above that and give it a little snip. Now, of course, aside from having a clean and sharp cutter, you definitely want to make sure that you take off a little bit. You can always take more off. You can't go backwards, obviously. So I'm going to use my little Calibri, little side one here. And what I do is I just kind of, because my hands are a little bit smaller, so I just kind of pre-hold it just where I want it. And you just want to assure that you're putting the cigar um, very straight. Um, I had a tendency when I was doing videos before to not pay attention all the time and sometimes you get a crooked cut which kind of can interfere with the way that the smoke comes out. So you definitely just want to make sure that you're getting it as straight as possible. So that being said, again, you're just going to take a little, a little snip right off the top of this. So just a little piece. Perfect, and you give yourself a little test draw. Again, if you do a test draw and that cigar happens to feel um, like a little bit too much of a struggle to get that air through, you can take off a little bit more. Again, you don't wanna start with taking a lot off and then you can't go backwards and you, what'll happen is your cigar will slowly start to unravel while you're smoking, which just ruins the experience for you and is no fun at all. So that's basically what you wanna look for, again, with that type of uh, cutter and that type of head on the cigar. And again, you can use you know, the one with a back to it so that you're being safe and you don't take off too much. Moving forward, I'm gonna show you now my other cool little Calibri cutter. This is the V-cut. Now this one leaves um, just a nice little, kind of a cat eye shape. It leaves a little slit right in the middle of the cigar. So this one is a nice one as well. Um, it's not ideal if you're somebody who likes to kind of chew on your cigars, like if you put it in your mouth for a while or even when you're smoking it, if you like to kind of bite down on it, it'll tend to close that hole and so you might run into problems there. If you are a chewer, um, you might want to go with just that regular uh, guillotine cut, just a nice clean open, open cut. But with the V-cut here, all you're doing, same type of thing, you're going to place your cigar. Again, you want to make sure that um, one, your cutter's clean and it's uh, sharp and then you wanna make sure that you have it straight on so you don't wanna run into this kind of deal or else your cut's gonna come out kind of crooked. And the V-cut is nice because you don't worry about 
um, interfering with the cap because it actually doesn't take off any part of the cap. It's just giving you a nice little slit. And again, just gives you a little bit of an opening. And voila, you have a nice open draw, which is again what you wanna look for. Now I've also brought out um, this little punch here, which I don't always use a punch. In fact, I, to be honest with you, I hardly ever use a punch, but this is a cool piece that happened to be from the Monte Cristo Social Club. So if you sign up um, on their website as a member, they send you this really neat little uh, punch cutter here and it just twists and again you have your little punch and the best thing with the punch is you want to absolutely make sure that it's very clean very sharp because if not if it's dulling or you have a lot of remnants in there it's gonna mess up and it's not gonna give you a clean a clean cut the other thing I wanted to talk about of course while you're um, learning to cut or just kind of brushing up on skills is you want to make sure that your cigar has been um, properly conditioned so you want to make sure that your humidor again is at an ideal humidity and temperature level if not your cigars can tend to either over humidify and be too soft and kind of get a little too moist and not give you a good um, a good light and a good experience but as on the opposite side of that if they're too dry when you try and cut it they'll start to come apart and that again can ruin it and it just ruins the cigar, ruins your smoking experience, leaves tobacco all over your mouth and um, not very pleasant. So this one, um, I noticed that because I'm traveling, I actually had this one out and it got a little bit dry. So I'm gonna see how this works and I'm gonna use the punch cut on it. And again, what you're doing is after you have your sharp punch, you wanna just go right in the middle and you just go down, take it right out and it gives you, well you can see that, gives you a nice little opening there. And this one, despite the fact that it was a little bit dry, it didn't crumble apart, which is good. I did kind of want to show that, that that could happen, but if that does happen to you, you need to double check your, your uh, humidor conditions and make sure that, again, you have that humidity level. For me, I, I keep mine, I live in California, so mine's about 70, 70 all the time, which anywhere within a couple degrees of that is, is pretty good, depending on your area. But you can see this one is a little bit dry and what could have happened is if I were to use maybe a guillotine cutter that's really removing that cap, this thing may have just completely crumpled and fallen apart. So just be careful for that. But again, with that punch, you give it a nice little hole. You get a, a good draw on it as well. And that's what you're looking for. Now the next little trick here, this little tool, is the scissors. Now these are my Zycar scissors. These are great and um, they actually fold down. You can put them on a keychain if you um, travel a lot or if you just don't have a lot of space. They fit in your pocket, they fit in your, your man purse, your satchel, whatever you carry with you. They're very compact which is great. Again they unfold and they have these cool little tools at the end so if you are refilling your lighter um, you can open that and, and um, you know, mess around and get your butane going on your lighter. Now the scissors I like to use for a torpedo. You can use them for, again, any type of cigar that you'd like. Uh, with the larger ring gauges, sometimes, unless they're perfectly humidified, you run that risk again of it kind of starting to crack and unravel. So just be careful with your, your cigar themselves. Gauge them before you do your cut. You know, you want to give them a good little feel, see the moisture level, see if they have any give to them, make sure they're not too dry. That being said, you're just gonna take your scissors, same thing applies, you wanna make sure they're sharp, they're clean, and you wanna just take a little bit off. And a torpedo's harder, because obviously you're not locating um, any shoulders or anything like that, you're just kinda going for the width, basically, of, of how much you wanna smoke. So, same rule, you wanna make sure you're completely straight, you don't wanna have it at an angle of any sort, and you just wanna give it a nice little cut and see this cigar was just slightly dry just a hint and it did start to crack a little and just you can notice that I can still smoke this and with the moisture from my mouth it'll it'll be fine but if it's too much again it could start to unravel and that's kind of what you want to look out for give it that test draw make sure you've taken enough off and again you just you don't want to have it too open, but you definitely don't want to be struggling with it while you're trying to enjoy your smoke. Now lastly, if you happen to be 
out and traveling and maybe you're off on a beach somewhere, I don't know, but you don't have a utensil of any sort, you don't have a cutter, you don't have a knife, um, I don't personally recommend doing it with your teeth. Uh, you can run into a lot of problems that way. Some people do it. Um, a lot of these different manufacturers and people that are making cigars, they'll use their mouth. They're just used to the feel of it. But again, if you're not used to that, um, you run the risk again of taking off too much or cracking your cigar, damaging it. So what I'll do once in a while if I happen to not have a cutter with me, um, this cigar here actually has a little bit of a pigtail. But even if it doesn't, all you're doing is basically kind of just with your nail, just pinching just a little bit off, just to get a little bit of an opening again. And I've just taken off, um, that one again was easy because it had that little pigtail, so I just kind of did a little twist and put the nail in there and just gave myself a little bit of a hole. Perfect draw for me. And that's basically it. So again, lots of fun different ways to cut your cigar. You wanna make sure, of course, again, to have a clean cutter. You need it to be sharp and you need your cigars to be properly uh, humidified in the right temperature, right humidity level. Because again, if they're too dry and you try and cut it, they could fall apart, they're gonna crumble, they're gonna get all nasty and not you're not gonna enjoy your smoke, basically. So hopefully I've answered any of your questions that you may have. And if there's anything I didn't cover and you have a question on, of course, feel free to shoot me a comment, email, don't forget to subscribe and check out the website. And as always, thanks for watching.